All right, guys, we are ready to make the magic happen with Illustrator. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. In the last video, we dropped in our reference image. I went ahead and uh, retitled my layers. So I have my background layer. Um, I locked that out. I have my reference image, which is just the sketch I did in Photoshop. And then I have the layer where I'm going to do 90% of the work, which is the blending. Um, OK. So I have this set up right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hide uh, hide that because I don't need to see those. Whoops. Let it go. Well, it's not locked in anything. That's why. Um, OK. So I'm going to grab my pen tool. And although you could do this with the brush tool, I'm finding that there are some issues with it. So I'm going to recommend keep it really simple. Let's work with the pen tool. Uh, I don't want to work with a fill. Um, I'm going to work with just a stroke. And I'm going to get a profile. Uh, so right now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my fill and in terms of the color um, I'm just going to work with a brown to get me started. You can always change your mind later um, but I'm going to start off with that. All right let's start in a simple area here like with the nose um, or the bridge of the nose. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to make my first uh, pen stroke. I'm going to start at the bottom and I think the fewer anchor points the better. Um, is my recommendation. So I'm going to click and just get something that looks honestly kind of like that. So super basic. Um, I can always adjust this later. I have it set to basic here in terms of the brush stroke. And right now the profile is basic, but it's going to be really boring. So I'm going to experiment with some other profiles here. I'm going to crank up my um, profile a little bit or my stroke. So that looks pretty good, but I think I want it thicker at the bottom um, here of that. So if you take a look at that, you can kind of see what that looks like here. Um, so I have something along the lines of that. And in case this is going the wrong direction, in your stroke menu over here, I'm just going to put this over here so it's easier to see. If you don't see these options, um, make sure that you show options in your stroke window. And you can always flip that so that it goes in the other direction. You can also round out the end. If I click on the rounded one, that will round out the end for you. If it is a wider end, it's really kind of up to you um, how you want to do that. You can explore, experiment a little bit with that as well. All right, so let's make this happen. Um, oh, there's another thing. If you go to make your next pen stroke and you find that basically it reverts back to a standard pen stroke and it's not kind of sticking with the profile that you just set up, let's fix that because that is annoying. If you set something up and you do one and you want to do the next one, you want it to have the same profile, um, it's really helpful. So let's change that. That's a, a uh, setting that's by default selected in Photos or in uh, Illustrator here. So I'm going to click on Window and Appearance and it's this little menu right over here. And then if we click on these th three lines, um, by default, this is checked. And it says new art has basic appearance. That means that like every time you click on the brush or the pen tool, it's going to default to the most basic appearance. I find that kind of annoying because once I set up my, um, you know, tool the way that I want it, I usually want it to be that way for a couple different options until I change it. So I'm going to make sure that that is not checked. So um, you don't want that to be checked. So turn that off and then you should be good to go. When you make, when you set one up, the next one's going to be like that too. All right. So I'm going to take those two and let's see what happens if I just take two of them. So I'm going to select both of those. Um, and again, make sure that your bottom layer is locked here. I'm going to select both of those with the uh, selection tool. And then I'm going to go up to object. I'm going to go to blend and make blend and learn this quick key because you're going to do this a lot. So alt control B and that is going to make your blend right there. It's going to add one in between by default if you have two strokes here and then I'm going to double click on the blend tool. So I double click and you get your options right here. It's going to default to smooth color. I'm going to say specified steps. So it's putting one in there and if I just start taking my up arrow and kind of add that in it's going to start to fill in those gaps and put as many or as few in as I want. So I can kind of dial that into whatever I want it to be. So if I feel like seven or eight is appropriate, that looks pretty good to me. Um, I'm not seeing much of an effect on this right now, the align to page or align to path. Uh, maybe that comes into play a little bit later, uh, but that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to hit OK on that. 
and I'm right back in there. If I want to go and adjust this and go, oh, I meant to have this up a little further, you can do that and everything's going to adjust. So you have two um, brush strokes to kind of work with here or two uh, pen strokes to work with and you can manipulate those and all of those lines in between are going to kind of adjust accordingly. So there you go. I might actually take, I think I want to round off the end of this. I think it's going to look better than this jagged edge. Um, so I don't think I can do that in the stroke menu right now. Let's see. Can I do it? I can with it, with the blend selected. Now, I'm not sure. I feel like if I have three, I'm not able to do that. But let's let's give it a try. So there's one. Let's repeat that process. Let's try. Um, let's try with the tusk right here, the tooth. So I'm gonna go ahead here and change my color, change it up a little bit just so you can see the difference. All right, I'm going to start with my first one, click and drag. And again, I usually find the fewer anchor points, the better two or three um, usually works pretty well. Let's look at that. Um, again, I'm going to set this profile up here. I'm going to go, let's see what this one looks like this time. Now, when I make my next pen stroke, hopefully that profile looks like it's going to stay. Go back up top here to the top of my tusk. I think I'm going to do three anchor points for this one. One, two, and three. I'm going to go right up to here and curve that around. And that looks pretty good to me. Okay. So now I'm going to select both of those. And again, I'm going to do my blend, which again, the quick key. Control, Alt, B, and I'm going to get the blend, double click, and I'm going to change from smooth color to specified steps and start kind of cranking that up and get it to the point where I want it. And that's actually working for me because that having the thinner edge over here creates almost the effect of a shadow. So if I kind of look at that and zoom out a little bit, I actually like that because um, the thinner lines down here are almost making it like a shadow created by the lip or upper part of the mouth. So that looks pretty good to me. Um, that is the basic method for this. So you're going to kind of work uh, part by part here. Look, my color changed on this somehow. Move back to brown color or something here. And uh, work piece by piece and uh, get going on that. In the next video here, we'll talk about a couple other things that we can do with this. But that is the basic. You start with a stroke, get the kind of angle and direction going on that brush stroke for you. And once you get that one set up, you do the second one. You might need to do one in between uh, and then select them both or all three and create your blend and then go in and modify that blend so that it looks appropriate. All right, have some fun. Look at the contour and think about how many lines and the profile of those brush strokes that you're using in there to create your lines. I'll see you in the next video.